I am at my most brokest ever in my life. And when I say brokest, I don't mean broke emotionally, physically, spiritually. I mean broke financially. I lost my job. I think it was two months ago or a month ago. Uh, my job supported my rent. It supported my food. It supported uh, basic, you know, utilities and all those things. So my my job supported my life. I was I was me because of my job because I I, I was able to undertake the expenses that I had in order to have a lifestyle that I have and to have the life that I have. But since I lost my job two months ago, I will just say two months ago because I I think yeah it is two months ago. I land. I believe I've been learning the most deepest fundamentals of life through this two months, or I would say this month, because it started being really severe this month. So one of the biggest things that have happened, just for context, is that that is happening actually currently, because this is the last time I'm shooting here because of a reason I'm going to tell you. Uh, One of the biggest things that happened was that I couldn't pay rent. So if you can pay rent, the first thing you want to do is you want to look for people who can help you so that that's when you're going to realize that there's not many people that can help you. Not because I want to be and people are evil. People are, It's just that people have their own problems and people will likely choose their problems over yours. And that's natural. It's not because Baslech or anything. So that's number one. I was looking, I'm still looking for a place to live, but we'll talk about that. One of the biggest most biggest thing that I would like to talk about, uh, probably address in this video, or just talk about is poor mindset. People in the lower field of life have a poor mindset. I was extremely exposed to the poor mindset because when you are facing problems in life, you need to network down. Networking down means when you don't have a place to stay and you've been working in corporate, working with celebrities, working with any, you can't call your celebrity client and tell them you don't have a place to stay because they don't care. You, they don't have that much context. They don't look up to you. They don't even, you're not even sure if they remember your name. So a lot of people will see you working with big people, making moves. That's social media lifestyle, obviously. But you are pushing, you are trying to to really make something meaningful come out. But one of the biggest things you're going to realize is once shit hits the fan, I can see in life, we we always admire to network up. So you only want to network with people that that you admire, people that you look up to, people that you want to work for for free so that you can learn from them. But those people, once your shit hits the fan, you can't call them because they're not your friends. You want to be with them. So... Utoluguti, in a course of six months, you've been providing value, you've been working, you've been doing it, but you've been providing your value to the high-end class of society, to the people who have money, to the people who are popular. To, those are the people you were focusing on, but when shit hits the fan, those people won't be here. So now what's going to happen? You're going to need to network down. The nicest thing about me is I've always been networking up and down. So I have a lot of people in the hood. I have a lot of friends that, not a lot of friends, but I'm that person who comes through and is like, hey, oh, my kifaf. And when I'm like, hey, oh, do this, can I have a sec with you? This is the situation. I'm not like a bad kid that you can just be like, Kai. you you can, I'm, I'm a person you can listen to. So it was, it was not difficult for me to like make plans. Okay, this is where I can sleep. This is where I can do. So it was not a problem per se, but you realize a lot of things because you assume things about your friend. And then when you're, in pro- when you're in a situation and you go to stay with him for two days, that's when you get the reality of how they live. You get the reality of a lot of things and you're like, fuck, I don't want to live here. And you move, you will live there. So you like, shit, you're realizing a lot of things that you would have never realized if you had money and if you were not paying attention from a perspective of pain because when you need money and you need to move because what what happened today is that i need to move where i stay this is the 10th today it's the 10th of october and i needed to pay rent on the first of october so that means i am 10 days late with rent 
And if the landlord comes in, even now when I'm making this video and he knocks right now, I'm in, pro I'm in a deep serious problem, but you know, I don't know. I think it's God cause it's been 10 days and I didn't know what to do, but I don't know. The landlord just did, hasn't came through, but my brother gave me some money. Uh, I had to do some things that I'm not, uh, I don't, I don't think I'm comfortable to disclose in this video. But the point of this video is that one, I am making this video for myself to look at this video probably a couple of months or years after this and to be like, fuck, I came far because I do innately believe I'm going to get somewhere. I'm going to innately conquer what I'm facing now. Right now, I haven't ate the whole day, dog. The whole day since I woken up, I just ate exactly three sweets. And even the three sweets that I ate was love candies that I bought yesterday and i had one rent that i could buy another sweets imagine i felt so lucky when i opened the drawer and i found those sweets because i knew they had glucose they had sugar and if i eat the sugar i'm gonna have at least more hours to think it's okay this is what i can do this instead of thinking on an empty stomach so when i saw that 50 cent sweets today i didn't see it as a 50 cent sweet i saw it as energy that can give me energy for approximately one to two hours and the way i ate it was like I remember one time I ate it. I ate it at like 10 o'clock and I was like, okay, the next sweets I'm going to eat at 11 o'clock or at half past 10. Even if I get hungry after 30 minutes, I'm going to prolong it because I only have three sweets for the whole day. So I need to make sure that I'm a sweet lava and exactly the one love candies that I bought. And I was like, yes, I didn't eat the love candies. So that means I have food for the day. But one of the biggest things, I've, the second biggest thing I've realized is that there is no wrong or right. There is no wrong or right. It is just weak and strong. It's either you were weak or you were strong. So in a situation when you are like me, you lost your job. I had to sell most of my assets in order to buy food and to keep up with operations for this two months that I lost my job. I need to drive around to go to people. My car is pro like, it's just a lot, bro. It's just a lot. And you get to realize, you see, there's people who are living in this life of problems and they are settled in. This person is watching a TV for two hours, but they facing problems that are worse than mine. Dog, I can't even watch a movie for two seconds, dog. I can't even watch a movie for two seconds with the problems I have. I need to fix them now. People don't have a sense of agency because they have problems, but they wake up and they are like, because they don't feel like, fuck, okay, there's fire. I need to fucking switch off the fire because I'm a fireman. And this fire is meant for me because I'm a fireman and I'm going to switch this fire off because I'm the man. And fuck this problem, stuff. I'm saying this. I love this video so much because this is the video where, just to show you, I didn't even have a, I just sold my fridge stock because I needed money to do one, two, three. So I don't have a fridge stock. Obviously, I don't have food. Uh, right now, I, I am staying in this place illegally because I am not paying rent. So 10 days, I owe rent because I haven't paid rent. If in any of those 10 days, the landlord came, I would have been telling you now that I'm sleeping in my car for like, a couple of days because driving family dog hey but you can't tell if it's a long story there but we get there but then one of the biggest things that happened is that i want build a deeper relationship with god and my ancestors because those are the only people i trust i wake up and i'm like okay god what's going on today okay ancestors give me the charts give me the, the latest reports what's the problems okay let's fix the problems one by one, it, it's, I'm, I'm with these people because I need to work with them. I need to work with them. I can't work alone because this is too much. And if I give it to myself, I'm going to fall into depression or anxiety or stress because now I'm handling everything by myself. But since I'm handling everything with God and with my ancestors, now I'm like, I wake up and I pray and I take it with a smile because I'm like, okay, this is a lesson. This is a lesson. I thought I made it. One of my friends told me we can come stay together, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know, I got a lot of dope friends and shit. Today, I just went to him. It's 10 o'clock now. I just came back from his house. 
story for another day, dog. But what I discovered is that I can't stay in Umatala because what happened. I want I just went to him now to nine o'clock to like get status. It's okay tomorrow. How are we moving? How hey, what happened, dog? I was yeah. What all I can say is just what happened showed me that you can't depend on another person. Cause not with Ukigela because he has intentions of hurting you, but Ukigela because he has problems too that he's trying to solve and he doesn't mind sacrificing you for his problem. Not in a he's not a bad person at all. It's just that if I had to choose between my family and you, my dog, I'll choose my family. No cap. So if I can choose my family over you, why should I mark someone or denote somebody as a bad person when they choose their family over me? So I should be like, oh, I, I would actually do the same. So this is still my dog because he's doing something that I would likely do. Just to close this video because people are sleeping and the voice that might be high. I'm not in pain. I'm not in pain. I'm in extreme ecstasy. I'm in extreme excitement. And what excites me is the struggles I'm facing. And I don't want to act as a strong person or macho man or anything. It's the fact that I wake up and I face a hundred problems and my mind gives me a thousand solutions. And I'm like, fuck, the mind is so dope, dog. Because I am I can I can literally wake up and like, the car is doing this, the house is doing this, there's no food, there's no ink. What is the plan? For the first 30 minutes, mind is blank. I am literally just, but because I know my mind and I've been living with my mind, I am able to just play music and be like, I see you, eh? I'm thinking, bro, when the song ends, I'm like, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this and this and this. And, and I think that mindset of, I'll never take the victim stand. Fuck it, I'm the God, dog. I'm the man. I'm the man. So, superhero's journey, boy, you know, the superhero's journey is that, Every superhero, yeah, as a movie maker, like, and then there's a climax, and then the boy realizes he's a superhero, and then he saves the day. Superhero story. So, right now, this is a superhero story where I am going through the face that has to prove to myself, not anybody. Yes, I want to prove to you and flex and everything. It's innately inside of me as a human, subconsciously. So I don't even give a fuck about justifying it. Baba. But the biggest thing is proving to myself because I spend time with myself more than I spend time with anybody. So any time I spend with myself, I need to understand that I'm spending time with a God. I am literally the most fortunate... <laughs> Sorry. I am literally the most fortunate person I've ever met. I'm not saying the most fortunate person living on planet F, but... Out of everybody I've met ever since I was zero, even my parents are not this fortunate or lucky. I am the luckiest person I know. And with that, when I wake up and I look at myself in the mirror, it's the same as the, you know, if I were to tell you that tomorrow you're going to meet with your favorite celebrity, somebody who you adore like fuck, how would you feel? How would you feel if I told you tomorrow Chris Brown is going to walk into your house, knock, and then come through to you and say, what up, dog? We're going to spend the day together. Chris Brown, Drake, little one. You're going to be crazy. I swear to God, not for video sakes, not for it. When I wake up and I gain consciousness and I remember that I am me, I, this person is gift. Damn, I get so euphoric, dog. I get so happy because I know what this boy is capable of. I know what this soul is capable of. Amongst there's problems I'm facing. Boy, I'm 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 dope, boy. And I don't say this from a Nyaz Jela or any. I say this from a point of I built myself. And so I'm still gonna build myself. But there was a five year period from the day I went to college. I would say that I was building myself, boy. I faced a trillion problems. Everybody who knows me from my past life, staying in Soweto, moving from Soweto, going to Fairview, moving from Fairview, going to where, where, move. Everybody who has interacted with me, even if we we, we ended up seeing us as one, they know, they know innately in their soul that this boy is a beast. And this boy is capable. 
yes kuzo ba kona ukuthi ah gift ubhayisisa into kanje this boy if he changes this and this is but innately dog if you don't know it and you know me or you want to know me just know that do shit dog do shit expect godly shit expect aggression expect the man dog so if you want to meet me don't expect like a humble nigga i'm there if i'm there just know i'm acting up i'm i'm just coming up to the to the level of the person i'm talking to so if i'm i i want to when you walk up to a house and then do it i'm a whole day yeah it's not that i'm acting it's just that i am leveling down to the environment so if i get to the environment that is like no and now i'm also like ah oh, see i don't need alcohol to get there i can automatically adjust i get into a meeting i'm this corporate person okay i hear what you're saying so what we're going to do in this project this is what i get out i'm at the hood with my hood friends i'm hood nigga we get out of the hood we go to church i'm a church boy so emotional intelligence i can move like that i am dope i am giving myself props i am giving myself flowers i am saying you are dope gift you are a gift to yourself before even to people i can see when people are like yo don't thank you i'm like thank you to me boy thanks god for making me me dog thanks god for making sure that i'm always with you because i wake up sometimes and i have depression i'm like okay gift is not here over our gift gift come through and like yeah hey, okay man thanks such a guy can come back it's a man just so share about depression and the depression you are too much can you want a depression or pull me as a kid depression i'll just try on my seat it's in the seat i want to be dressed my birthday too just to end this video one thing i wanted to go ahead is i was thinking of not doing any videos anymore because my life is terrible right now and i just felt like i have nothing good to put out there i have i don't even want to spend time on social media fuck social media fuck everything but right now i'm like fuck i'm the happiest person to ever set foot on planet earth because of the problems i'm facing and i know in 3 4 5 6 7 20 months Mm. I am I am just excited of what I'm going to become. So stay tuned man. It's 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 fuck 11 o'clock night and I'm thinking of cooking. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm just going to drink water. <laughs> and then eh, I like I need to make problems with I need to make a solution to that. I'm going to drink water and sleep and then tomorrow so like I feel about 50 tanko. Mikey Fafa, the happiest man alive. Let's go.